Hi, and welcome to my Chord Theory Series, Video 2. Now I'm going to explain to you how chords are built. So first, before you understand anything about chords, you have to know something about what's called the major scale. Escala Mayor in Portuguese. And I'll play you a major scale. Okay. Let's do this in A. And I'm just going to say the numbers of the scale. These are called scale degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now, a scale is a series of notes played uh, ascending or descending in a particular pattern of whole notes and, uh, sorry, whole steps and half steps. Uh, they, you could have more than a whole step, uh, it's possible, um, but for now we're going to just think whole steps and half steps. And if you don't know what they are, uh, super quickly I'll explain that a whole step is the distance between one fret and, the, and two frets above. So let's say between five and seven, that's a whole step. A half step is half of that, so the distance between five and six is a half step. So what's the dis distance between three and four? A half step. What's the distance between three and five? A whole step. Okay, good. All right, so major scale is this pattern, whole step, whole step, half step, whole, whole, half. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay? This isn't a lesson on scales, so sorry I'm taking so much time with it, but it's essential that you know your scale before learning triads. So this is the first note of my A major scale. One, two, three. This is the third note. One, three. One, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth note of my A major scale. One, three, five. That's a major triad. You play the first, third, and fifth note of the major scale. One, three, five. Any major scale. I'm playing A right now. Then you have a major triad. If you put those notes together, you have to do it like this get a major chord. We traditionally play A major on guitar like this, or like this. It's the same notes. Uh, some of them are doubled, because a triad is only three notes. Although, normally when we play an A major, we're playing five notes. All right. Okay, now, a minor chord is if you take the first note of the major scale, the flatted three, so instead of going one, two, three, you're gonna take that three note, you're gonna hammer it down to there. One, flat three, and keep the five the same. One, flat three, five. One, flat three, five, flat three, one. All right, so now, the next one, diminished. Diminished is kind of spooky sounding. Pretty cool. You take the first note of the major scale, flatted three note, same as the minor, and then instead of the five, you're gonna take a flatted five. We're gonna smash that, hammer it down. Okay, so you got one flat three, flat five, flat three, one. Sounds pretty cool, right? And there's, so there's four forms of the triads that are important to remember. You got the major, kind of joyful sounding, minor, a little sadder, heavier, the diminished, kind of spooky, uneasy sounding, and then what's called the augmented. So you go back to your major, one, three from the major scale, and rather than five, you're gonna play sharp five. So you're gonna raise it. 
So that becomes one, three, sharp five, three, one. Also kind of eerie, just like the diminished chord. You play that together, it sounds like this. All right, that's the augmented chord. So those are your four triad shapes. Now, I will uh, show you a way to play them, not just as an arpeggio, but as a, a chord shape. So uh, I'm aiming this at intermediate players. So if you're a beginner, up a beginner, just kind of take it in at a, as like the first wave to like, you know, get wet and understand you know, like what the ocean feels like, the ocean of chords feels like, but don't worry about swimming in the deep end, all right? Just kind of like go in up to your ankles and just feel it uh, and understand that this will, you know, this will sink in over time. So you got, look, first finger on the fifth fret of the E string, low E. Third finger on the seventh fret of the A string. You got a power chord, skip the D string. Mute it with your first finger, if you can, over here. And then with your second finger, you're gonna play the sixth fret of the G string, and that's it. And the B and the high E are gonna be muted out too. Just gonna strum those three with the muted strings as well. That's a major triad, okay? Now to get a minor, we have to take, here's the first note, here's the fifth note. <clears throat> the G string has a third. We gotta take this note and flatten it, and then somehow still play the other two notes the same. Five, seven, so, sorry, fifth fret, seventh fret, skip the D string, fifth fret, so that's a minor triad, and you mute the other three strings, the D, the B, and the high E, mute them. Now to make this diminish, you gotta flat the five. Right there, you're flatting it. So you got the fifth fret here, sixth fret there. X, I mean don't play. Fifth fret over here on the G string. X, X, don't play those. So that's a diminished chord. And to play the augmented, go back to your major. So one, um, fifth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret on the G. And you're gonna extend the fifth, so edge your pinky. Now your 5th fret, 8th fret, 6th fret on the G. That's a diminished chord. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's an augmented chord. Kind of weird sounding. Now you might not ever really play it like this, but I want you to see the relationship between a major and an augmented. I want you to see the relationship between a major and a minor. Between a minor and a diminished. You can see it when you play it like this. So. Practice that, let that sink in. Uh, next in our video series, I will describe seventh chords. So if you like it, please click the like button. And if you want to know more about chord theory, about playing the guitar, uh, please subscribe and leave comments. If uh, there's some material that I'm not covering that you would like me to cover, let me know uh, if there's something you want to add to the conversation, put it below. Uh, any questions, any concerns, like maybe I'm forgetting some crucial point, by all means, please share. This is a community, you know, and we're here to grow together. So I'll talk to you in the next installment.